Hello and welcome to another episode of Confessions of Webmaster Dan. Today we are going over a overcoming adversity. And I just want to share with you, if you look behind me, you see these mountains back here. These mountains is for me to remind you of what adversity is. And sometimes it's like climbing one of these mountains. You got to overcome adversity because every day when you wake up in the morning, it's like adversity is waiting on you in some kind of way. It's something that's eating at you, coming at you, toxic, all type of stuff coming at you. Here's something I realized that from understanding of the adversity that some of the adversity that I've overcome in life or some of the things that God has blessed me with by allowing me to embrace my gifts instead of darkness is that sometimes we wake up and we take life for granted and we meet people who remind us of ourselves. So the thing is not to really knock people, but to understand where people coming from. In theater class, they call it knowing the backstory. Knowing the character's backstory. And just like we got a backstory, other people have a backstory. And sometimes we have to take that into consideration as far as something we may be dealing with with an individual or a group. And that's like climbing a mountain sometimes. It takes endurance, it takes strength, it takes patience, et cetera, et cetera. So sometimes you meet people that are stuck where you may have been stuck before. Whether it's addiction, whether it's uh, just... just uh, popularity, whatever it is that has you drawn to the point that sometimes we don't take into account time, how important time is. We don't take into account life. We don't know that, hey, in the morning, God don't have to wake me up. Somebody today had plans today that didn't get that blessing. And that could be me tomorrow, or that could be you, or that could be somebody we love. And I really don't get caught up on all that anymore because it's, it's, that's life. And that's the thing. I don't take that for granted anymore. I could I could not wake up tomorrow or somebody I love could not wake up tomorrow. And these things are acceptable to me now because we take time for granted sometimes. We take life for granted. You ever hear the things we argue? Some of the things that people argue, sometimes, I mean, it's just, it's just listen to the things we argue. It's usually so minute and so irrelevant to time and life. It's not even funny. And that was me arguing about something that really has no significance on life. Sometimes we uh, uh, resent people or we at odds with people or have a conflict or controversy with people when we really think about it. How does that impact their life or mine? How does that impact your life or theirs to the point that you have that degree of emotionalism following behind it and all caught up in it? I want to be right. I want to be this, I want to be that, I want to be the leader of the pack. And then when you sit down and say, well, what happens after I spend and will invest all this time and life into this particular topic? What is the final reward? How do I win? And when you really look at it sometimes, there's nothing to win. There's no reward. It's just our nature to be caught up, to be intertwined in conflict and controversy because we had this desire, this innate desire to be right to be in charge, to be the leader of the pack. So sometimes it's just a matter of being humble, saying, what does it matter if that person is in charge? What does it matter if that person is right? Does it change your life? Does it change your day? Does it change your gift, your power, your wonders, your confidence? And if it doesn't, let them be right. You know their backstory. They may need that. Let them have it. So that's it. Confessions of a webmaster. I had to learn that through experience. So anything that I share with you, I'm sharing with you from the experiences that I had or something I myself experienced within myself. And I've come to this happy medium in my golden years to just share that with you. Each one teach one. Sometimes the things we argue, the conflicts we have, and the controversy that we experience, it's just a matter of being caught up. And it's no different than being caught up in alcohol, drugs, or some other addiction. It's no different than being caught up in sports. It's no uh, uh, different than being caught up in anything that draws your attention away from the simple things in life. The things we take for granted, like waking up in the morning. So sometimes you got to let people have it, man, because they ain't there yet. Let them have that. And it doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. But one thing is for sure. Time is valuable, and life is something that we must learn to appreciate. Because like I said, tomorrow I might not get that blessing. But if I don't, I love you. Talk to you later. Peace.